Skill 11. Communicating effectively with upper management. Relate to the top brass on their terms and present your ideas as solutions to problems they face. Relating to upper management boils down to one critical skill, analyzing issues from their perspective, not yours. Use empathy to deepen your understanding of the boss's outlook. Step into their shoes. Ask yourself, what aspects of your operation does management care about most? What do they like to measure? What pressures do they face? How do they define success? Communicating with senior executives requires rigorous preparation. Before you propose ideas, you must anticipate their questions, concerns, and objections, and know what to say to address them. You'll need to collect data, analyze trends, and conduct risk-reward analyses with clarity and precision. Avoid a common mistake, bringing only your idea and your excitement about it to the meeting. When upper management rejects your proposal, treat it as a challenge rather than a defeat. Don't take it personally or insist repeatedly that you're right. Instead, ask fact-finding questions to learn. Dig for more information. Identify what missing pieces they need to approve your plan. Check that you're aware of the key factors driving their thinking. Strike a low-key analytical tone when discussing strategy. Adopt a just-the-facts style and don't make assertions without proof. If you're upset at the boss for a broken promise or an abrupt and seemingly foolhardy change in direction, voice your concern in positive, non-accusatory language. Begin with phrases such as, just to clarify where we're at now, as I understand the developments leading up to this point, let me make sure we're on the same page. These diplomatic comments help you step back from the fray and tie past with present. You may want to remind your bosses that changing course carries steep costs that they wish to avoid and that your solution provides more stability and measurable gains. Or you may find that by reviewing the stages of a project up to this point, you enable others to conclude for themselves that it's best to follow through on earlier commitments. End any important conversation by confirming agreements and taking notes. If you've decided to put an aid on probation, review your notes that summarize the steps your boss wants you to take and then ask, does that cover it? Have your pen and notepad ready if the boss modifies the plan. That signals your intent to capture everything accurately in writing. Dishing out compliments to higher-ups can sound insincere, but you should always look for opportunities to thank upper management. If you get advice that you found helpful, say so. Thanks for your guidance on how to handle Mike's performance review. If you took a day off for a family emergency, express gratitude. Thanks for letting me tend to my family's situation yesterday. This shows that you appreciate their kindness and that you admire their leadership, two messages that can solidify your relationship with them. When upper management makes a blunder, resist playing, I told you so. If you believe you're smarter than they are, keep it to yourself. And while it's fine to try to correct a boss's mistakes once or even twice, let it go if the problem persists. Here's a warning. If bosses sound vague or unsure, don't guess what you think they want. You'll be wondering what to do next, and you'll probably wind up wasting time and energy. Instead, Pin down bosses by gently pushing them toward a clearer decision, or at least presenting a stark choice that they must make. Here's a tip. Establish a specific time every day or two to communicate with your key boss or bosses by phone or face-to-face. -face. Stick to the same meeting time so that you get into a habit of talking at, say, 7.30 every morning or just after lunch on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. These three- or five-minute status update chats prevent misunderstandings. It's true, about 43% of workers say that they do not feel valued by their employers, 
according to CareerBuilders.com. If you're one of them, strengthen the relationship by empathizing with bosses and solving their problems.